Hello everyone, Kerry McElroy here. It's Kerry McElroy Fitness. Thanks for watching. Today's topic is heart rate zones. We have to train our heart just like any other muscle, right? I promised you heart, heart rate zone quick video. So here it is. Three heart rate zones. Rest, aerobic, and anaerobic. It's that simple. With the advent of, of Apple Watches, most people have it right on their wrist, right? They can see. They can see whether they're in blue, which is generally kind of a low aerobic or even a rest zone. We're just walking around every day. Maybe you were sitting at your desk and you got up and it's your kind of natural heart rate state. Aerobic is generally the green and yellow on your watch. Or maybe sometimes it's orange a little bit. Um, that means you're getting into the higher stages of aerobic. That means you're starting to move a little bit. Your body start, might start to sweat. Now, whatever you're doing, it doesn't really matter. Your body just knows you're starting to get aerobic. It could be lifting, it could be walking, it could be carrying laundry, riding a bike, what have you. Um, so it doesn't really matter what you're doing. Your body doesn't know. It just registers that it's in a higher heart rate. So that's where you probably should be most of the time. People ask me all the time, where should I be when I work out? Aerobic is probably the greatest. Then there's anaerobic. When you're in the red zone, you'll see red. And, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Some of us can be in red zone for a lot longer than others, depending on how much training you've done. Um, think about it this way. If you went into the gym for the first time after you'd been out of, you know, not working out uh, uh, for a very long time, would you pick up 50 pound dumbbells and, you know, try to start doing biceps? You know, man or woman, it doesn't really matter. Of course you wouldn't, right? So why should, do you think you're going to get on a Peloton or, you know, go out for, you know, 20 mile run on the first day if you haven't been doing anything? You know, you want to kind of ease into it. So you don't want to drive your heart rate up really high and, and, you know, not be able to sustain that and come back, you know, heavy breathing and, you know, hurt yourself or not be able to recover quickly. So, you know, you can use that high heart rate with the red for as long as you feel comfortable. Um, it could be two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes. If it's 20 minutes, that means you're probably a little bit more fit. Maybe you've been riding a lot, you've been walking a lot, you've been jogging. So your, your game now as a challenge to yourself is to try to get yourself in higher heart rates for longer time. And that's, that's generally what HIIT training is, high intensity interval training. So, but that's for another video. So three heart rate zones, rest, aerobic where most people should be especially if they're you know starting back with a program and anaerobic for you know longer and longer periods of time over time not right out of the gate okay and again the heart rate zones on your watch are usually blue then green and yellow then like an orange or a red all right any questions let me know again heart rate zone so important to training sometimes people start out too hard and they, they go hard and heavy then they can't recover and they give up don't give up aim for stronger all right, I'm Kerry McElroy. That's Heart Rate Zones. Have a good day.